Okay, so you want to keyframe some text in Final Cut Pro. Well, too bad because you can't. You need motion to do that, but you can kind of trick it into doing what you want. So right now we just have this white generator. I'm going to add some text. This one's just going to be custom, whatever. You can use anything you want. Uh, yeah, so anyways, let's just make it a number. Like, let's say you want to have some kind of effect, like a glowing number. I'm just going to put one, make it as big as I can. Uh, I'm going to make it a darker font so I can see it. So if we want to get this number to glow, you'd think you could just keyframe a glow into it, but you can't really do that. So what we have to do is you have to cut it into two pieces where you want the effect or keyframe transition to happen. And now I've got two pieces of this text on the left is going to be how it is now. On the right, I'm going to change it to how I want it to look. So maybe I'll change the color. I'll make it a blue. I'll have a glow yellow, I suppose. Why not? Uh, you know, you can add a drop shadow. You can add basically all these things is just gonna transition into it. So however you want to set that up, that's fine. Now it'll instantaneously change, which that doesn't really look too good. Uh, so to have a keyframing effect of it transitioning from one to the other, we're just gonna take a cross dissolve and then connect these two together, get rid of that first part, and now play it left to right, it'll change over time.